Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to download the Nintendo DS emulator on your iPhone and iPad without the need of a jailbreak and the best part is no revokes are involved. So first of all, I'll be showing off two emulators in this tutorial, the first one being Delta, the second one being INDS. It doesn't matter which emulator you use, it is up to personal preference. However, in order to download these emulators, there are some requirements. So what I want you to do is open up settings, then find general, then find about, and you will need to check your software version. Make sure your software version is 12.2 or newer. You can see mine is 15.0, so I'm good to go. However, if your software version is 12.1.4 or older, you will not be able to follow this guide. You will need to jailbreak your device and then download the emulators that way, or you will need to update your device to the latest software in order to continue with this tutorial. Next, you will need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. If you don't have access to one, don't be shy. Your family members most likely have one. Ask them, right? You only need to borrow their computer for 10 minutes. They can watch what you're doing. This is not some dodgy stuff, right? That we are only downloading one application on the computer. So you might as well ask because you miss all the shots you don't take. So if you don't have access to a computer, ask a family member, ask to borrow one from a friend. Not like, you know, they give it to you, but let's say in school, they bring it in. You do, you know, you download your emulators and then you enjoy your apps, your friend gets their computer back, you get the point, there is always someone who has a computer available, just ask, and if you don't have access to a computer, you will not be able to follow this tutorial, so it's worth the shot, again, you miss all the shots you do not take. So with that being said, once we have access to the computer, I'm gonna to move to mine, and I'm gonna show you the next steps. The first step is downloading AltStore. On the computer, if you're running Windows, we have some preliminary steps we need to follow. So first of all, I want you to open up the Microsoft Store, search up for iTunes and make sure that if you have this version of iTunes installed on your computer, delete it. So if you don't see a get button here and you see an open button, just make sure this version is deleted. Next, I want you to go to the alt store page, will be in the description, and I want you to click on the FAQ in a new tab. Once we are on the FAQ, we have two downloads. First of all, download the latest version of iTunes directly from Apple and the latest version of iCloud directly from Apple. So we'll right click, open a new tab for iTunes, and you can see, download the latest version, but it says from the Microsoft Store, so we need to fix this. So we're just gonna scroll down until we see looking for other versions, Windows, and then download iTunes for Windows Now, 64-bit. We click on this one, and then we wait for this to download. Next, we're going to go, and we're going to download the latest version of iCloud. So right click, open a new tab, and it'll bring you to the Apple support page where we have the iCloud download for Windows. Once you're on this page, we need to right click this here, download iCloud for Windows on Apple's website. It does say for Windows 7 and 8, however, I'm on Windows 10, this works no issues. If you're running any other future Windows, it will also be good. So just right click this, click on copy link address, and then paste this in the new tab. For some reason, the iCloud download will not start if you either just click on it. You see if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. Or if I right click, open a new tab, it still won't do anything either. I have absolutely no idea why this is the case. However, it is what it is. So we just need to wait for the iTunes download to finish, the iCloud download to finish, and then I'll show you the next steps. Once iTunes and iCloud have installed, you just need to set them up. So we'll just load up iTunes. Because I've already installed iTunes, it's given me the option to repair or remove. But for you, you would install it for the first time. So just click on next, press yes on any pop-ups you see, and then install iTunes on your computer. And then next we need to download iCloud. And we need to accept the terms of agreement, install, press yes on any pop-up you may see, and then just wait for this process to complete. Press yes on any other pop-ups you see as well. Now iCloud wants us to restart our computer. I recommend you install both iTunes and iCloud before you do the restart. So I'm just gonna click on no, then we restart the computer. If you do not restart the computer, Altstore will give you an invalid Aniset data error, so it's not an optional thing. Do you want to restart? It is you restart to get Altstore working, you don't restart to get Altstore not working. So I'm going to restart, and then I'm going to be back for the next steps. All right, I've just restarted my computer. If you get this iCloud pop-up, just click on cancel. Make sure iCloud is still open in the tray, and let's proceed with the next steps. So back on the Altstore website, you either click on macOS or Windows. So on Windows, I'm just going to click this, you're going to see the allinstaller.zip is going to download. On macOS, you just click on the macOS download, and if you have this pop-up, just click on save file, okay, and then you can see altserver.zip is downloading. I'm going to click on it right here. On Windows, you'll see this page, click on extract all, and then just click on extract, 
And once it's done, now we have auto installer and setup. On macOS, once the dot zip has installed, just click on it. And then you should see the auto server icon right here. Just drag this into applications. Click on applications. Then you want to find auto server, should be at the top. Right click, open. Then for the first time, you're going to see auto server is an app downloaded from the internet. Click on open. And then you should see auto server has just been loaded up right here. For Windows, we want to double click the setup. And then we'll click on next, just me, next, yes to any pop-ups you see, and then close to exit. Now we need to load up the alt server application, and then we can proceed with the next step. So I'm just going to open this up. And if you see this pop-up, click on allow access. And now you should see alt server in your system tray. If you don't, click on the view more option, and it should be right here. Before we install alt store onto our device, we need to do a bit of setup. So I want you to... Uh, open up iTunes on Windows or Finder or Mac OS and then you want to connect your iPhone to the computer or your iPad or your iPod Touch and you should see it right here we're going to click on this and what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down and you see this option sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi you don't have to turn this on but what this means is Alt Store will communicate with your phone over Wi-Fi so you do not need to plug it into the computer this will be very useful later in the tutorial again you don't have to turn it on but I recommend you do so we will turn this option on then we'll click on apply and then done on macOS extra steps are required in order for Alt Store to work I want you to click on Alt Server then I want you to find install mail plugin Click on this, install mail plugin, maybe ask to enter in the passcode, just enter that one in. And then mail plugin installed. Okay, make sure that you reload the mail application. So if you see a blue dot like I do, right click, quit mail, then load up mail again. And once mail is opened up, you should see right here, mail, click on mail, preferences. And then we see right here, manage plugins, we click on this one. And we see Alt Plugin Not Mail Bundle. Click on this, apply and restart mail, and now the mail application will restart. The mail application must stay open while you use Alt Server. So if you're in a situation where that does sound inconvenient, just minimize the mail application, and as long as you just keep it that way, things will be perfectly fine when using Alt Server. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to find Alt Store, click on it, install Alt Store. And then you should see your iPhone right here. So I'm going to click on my iPhone. And now we need to enter in our Apple ID and password. Now this is used in order to connect with Apple server and generate a free certificate, which you can sideload onto your phone. However, if you do not trust Alt Store, you know, you may think that it's taking your login details. The app is open source, so it's completely safe. Uh, if you are in a situation where you still don't trust Alt Store, you can create a brand new Apple ID. The link to do that is in the description. Just follow the step. Another thing as well is not all Apple IDs will support Alt Store. Uh, I think if you are under the age of 18 on your Apple ID, this may not work. If you have family sharing on, this may not work. So if you are in a situation where you get any error, which isn't the invalid and the set data error, which I explained earlier, which you can fix, then what I recommend you do is you create a brand new Apple ID as well with the link in the description. Yeah, it's Apple's official page, nice and easy. So I'm going to do that personally, and then I'm going to come back and enter in my login details. If you have installed Alt Store on another device before, or you said you impact, uh, you'll see this pop-up saying Alt Store already installed on another device. Just click on continue and just wait for Alt Store to install. So you can see it right here, installing Alt Store to iPhone. You may be also asked to enter in your two-factor authentication code. If you are, just enter that one in. So we'll just wait for this to complete. And you can see installation succeeded. Alt Store was successfully installed on iPhone. And now if you did turn on Wi-Fi sync, you do not need to have your iPhone plugged into the computer anymore. So I'm just going to unplug it and I'm going to show you the next steps. Once all store is on your device, when you try and open it, you'll get this untrusted developer message. To fix it, just go to settings, general, then VPN and device management. And then you'll see developer app, tap on this one, trust, trust again. And now you can open up the alt store application. So we'll just tap on don't allow. And I just tap on don't allow that. You need to enable this. So if you screw up like me, just go to settings, then just find alt store. And you see right here, local network, you will need to turn this on. So let's go back to alt store, settings, sign in with Apple ID. If you get this right here, could not find alt server, what you will need to do is you will need to plug in your device to the computer when proceeding with the next step. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to plug this in live and you'll be able to see that this will fix the issue. I'll we'll need to go to portrait mode for this. So let's just tap on sign in with Apple ID. And you see this time everything's fully working. So you will need to enter in your Apple ID and password. Make sure you use the same Apple ID as you did when installing Alt Store onto your device. So I'm just going to do that now. And there we go. I've entered in my Apple ID and password. Just tap on got it. And now you're good to go. So now we need to download Delta or INDS. So let's just download them both at once. So you will need to head over to the next link, which will be in the description. It will bring you to this page right here. Just tap on get started and you'll be brought to the browse emulators page. What I want you to do is I want you to either tap on Delta or INDS. I'll show both. So I'll tap on get for INDS. The page is a bit glitched. So we'll just tap on IPA. If you're redirected to like this, this is an advertisement, right? This ad, whatever it says, is an ad. If it says malware detected, it's an advertisement. It's trying to get you to download something by fooling you. So just close out this advertisement. And you can see for INDS, we are brought to the GitHub page. You just want to find assets. If you don't see it, just tap on it to expand. Tap on INDS.IPA, download, and you can see INDS is installing. So we need to go back. So let's go back, back again, and let's get Delta. So we'll tap on get, IPA, and again, I'm redirected. Just close out the redirect, and we're brought to the Delta GitHub. We'll just find the Delta IPA, tap on it, download. And you can see both of these uh, IPAs are installing. So in order to install the emulators, just tap on Alt Store, open it up, then find My Apps. And remember, if you saw could not find Alt Server, just plug in your device to the computer. And we'll tap on Plus, and we'll just do INDS first, and that will now install. Just give it a little bit; it may take a bit of time. And depending on whether you have iCloud Drive on or not, you may need to, you know, when you tap on Plus, like go to Browse. And then on my iPad or whatever, you, you may need to find it. But for me, it's just in recents. And we'll just tap on Delta. So you just tap on Plus, and then the emulator. And then it should install without any issues. So I just want to do this all in one take so you can see that everything's fully working. There is no funny business. Do keep in mind that if you had that issue, could not find Alt Server, you know, could not connect to Alt Server, you just need to plug in your device to the computer, make sure Alt Store is on. So what we're going to do is let's open up the emulator so you can see INDS is fully working and Delta is fully working. There are a couple of important things to know. So first of all, inside of Alt Store, these applications will expire in seven days. You need to refresh the applications before they expire. So what I recommend you do, don't press on the uh, empty space, tap on plus, and then add the Alt Store widget. This widget will let you know when your applications are about to expire. Because if you do not refresh them before they expire, your emulators will not open up anymore, meaning you will not be able to play your DS games. The fix, if that ever happens to you, is just re-download Alt Store and your emulators will start working again. So it's not the end of the world. As long as you do not delete the emulators, you will have no issues with your saves being lost at all. Also do keep in mind, if you are unable to refresh, so say you could not find Alt Server, you will need to plug in your iPad to the uh, computer or iPhone, whatever you're using in order to refresh, like I mentioned earlier. Before we get our games, there is some extra setup we need to do for Delta. So just open up the Delta emulator, tap on settings, scroll down until you see Core cool settings, and then tap on Nintendo DS. So on Delta, you will need to import the DS BIOS files in order for the emulator to run. So the official way to do this, the way I did personally, was I got my Nintendo DS, it's homebrewed, and that way I was able to extract all of the BIOS files onto my computer, then I emailed it, and then downloaded it onto my iPad. However, there are some unofficial methods, methods that I would have no idea about. I definitely have no clue uh, other ways to get these virus files onto your device. Some of them may even break the law. Oh, oh no. So I don't know them. Maybe in the comment section, uh, may know them and may, you know, share those methods. But I wouldn't have, you know, I have no clue. Don't ask me. So let's uh, import those BIOS files. So once you have them on your iPad, what you want to do is just tap on the BIOS 7 not bin. And then tap on the BIOS 7 not bin. And you can see we have a tick if you've got the right one. Now we'll do the same for BIOS 9.bin and we just need firmware.bin and once we're done now we're good to go. So the next step is we need to get our games and in order to get our Nintendo DS games you will need to have the physical copy and you will need to uh, dump the cartridge onto your computer and from your computer send it over to your device. That's again the official method I did but there are unofficial methods too 
maybe someone in the comment section also knows how to get games the unofficial way i have no i really have no clue i genuinely do not know the unofficial method i've done this officially i've dumped my ds games personally so that's the way i'm using if you want to use unofficial methods just check the comment section maybe someone has another way i wouldn't know so what we want to do is we just want to open up the files app and find the ds rom that you have dumped so you can see right here super mario 64 ds Long press on this one and then i want you to tap on share and let's do delta first so we'll just tap on delta and you can see we now have super mario 64 ds in delta now let's do INDS. so when you do this again you will need to uh, close out this uh, pop-up because it will not let you open up apps twice so we'll just close out of that don't press share swipe over INDS, and boom if i just refresh this you can see Super Mario 64 DS is inside of INDS. So INDS actually has some customization you can do. Although there is one flaw with this application, which is why I also covered Delta. So what we want to do is just tap on settings once you've loaded up your game. And first of all, you will notice the game is locked at 30 FPS. This is a bug that's been around for ages. So I'm just going to turn on show FPS, go back, and you can see the frame rate's capped at 30, even though this game can run at 60. So to fix this cap, go to settings. And then go to emulator settings swipe up and you see frame skip just set it to four close out of this wait a second go back to settings emulator settings and then set frame skip to one once you've done this you should have the full 60 fps boom right there and now the game is running full speed next let's go back to emulator settings and we can also change the video filter this just makes the quality look better so just tap on the highest one if you have a newer device if you have an older device just lower uh, the video filter it says this is recommended but it says that for all devices it's not device spe uh, specific and once you're done you just tap on settings say profile and then add the profile name and then save and then if you go to settings again layout and you can choose between you know default and then the other ones as well so let's open up delta because this is quite easy to show if i just open up the game you see delta would like to access the microphone the reason why is because the ds does actually use the mic so we'll just tap on ok and you can see boom we have the game right here if you tap on menu you have all the menu options if you go to main menu you can do that as well also you can back up the game to the cloud so if i go to uh INDS right here what you can do is if we just go to settings i was already in it so let's go to settings emulator settings and what you want to do is just find where it says there should be a Dropbox. Dropbox right here. If you don't have a Dropbox account, you'll need to make one. Just turn this on and this will back up your save states. It will not back up the games themselves because that's illegal. But it'll back up the, uh, the save states. And what that will do is essentially you get a new device or you screwed up. Your app's expired, meaning you can't open them. So you deleted INDS. All you need to do, we download INDS, enable Dropbox Sync again. Uh, get your games back you know the ones you physically dumped wink wink and then you're good to go also delta has the same feature inside the settings you just want to scroll down until you see delta sync turn this on and the exact same applies as well so hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to smash like subscribe for brand new thanks for watching this was a bit of a longer one uh, but i did want to cover everything in as much detail as possible see you guys later Bye bye